We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Well together. Remember, with these kind of things, they wouldn't be fun to eat on their own. They need to be sort of mixed in with other things. And that's the value of these elixirs, is it gives us a way to work with all these superfoods. We can just throw them all in the blender, and all of these flavors go really well together. Now, I'm a believer in salt. I'm a big believer in salt in my, in my drinks. I think all chefs will tell you every dessert should have salt in it. It's one of the things people leave out. It's one of the reasons their flavors don't come together. So if you can imagine, each of these flavors is like a different color that you'd paint into a painting. But what brings them all together, ties all those colors together, is the salt. This is a chipotle salt. So this is a, a sea salt, a wild sea salt that's been um, put in chipotle smoke or mixed with chipotle so it's got a smoky Mexican kind of flavor to it. So we're gonna mix all those together. Now if we blended that right now, that would be good. But we wanna sweeten a little bit and fat it up a little bit. So I'm gonna put some cacao butter. Cacao butter is of course the oil of cacao beans. Why would we use that? Because that oil has calories in it. And if I want this drink to feed me all day, I'm going to need some calories. And we're going to need some fats for that. So what we'll do is add a little bit of oil in there. One of the nice things about cacao fat is that it stays solid at room temperature. That's really convenient. So we'll throw that right in there. Now how about a sweetener? I personally have gotten to a point in my health approach where I'm not really working very much anymore with, with honey in my diet, with agave in my diet. I'm much more focused on things like stevia, which allow me to sweeten without um, over-sugaring myself. That took me years to get to, so I know that that's not where everybody's at, and this drink would be great with honey. In fact, I'd probably really like it with honey. But I'm going to use stevia. This is ground stevia leaf. Now, stevia is an herb with a taste like sugar, but actually without any sugar in it. So I'm going to put a scoop of that in there. That's going to be my sweetener. I've become pretty hooked on stevia, and some people don't like the taste of it. And I forget that. You get to where you really like it. Other people don't necessarily love the flavor. So if I had guests over and I was feeding them, I might use honey for that. Okay, one last thing, and this is an important idea in Elixir Craft. If we just drank that, it's a liquid, so it would go into our bodies very quickly. We want to slow that down a little bit so it feeds us for a while and so that we don't upload the medicine too quickly. We want to time release it. Kind of like when you were back when you were in pharmaceuticals, a lot of the pharmaceuticals were time released. They're, they're in a special pill that releases them slow. We're going to make the drink time released. Well, how do we do that? We want to mix some, something thick and gelatinous in there. If you've ever soaked uh, flax seeds, you see they turn into a gel. If you've ever soaked chia seeds, you see they turn into a gel. Those gels are fibers, and those fibers slow down the absorption of the food. So we can make this drink time release. I'm going to use one of my favorite gels, but there's a few others I want to mention as well. Another great one, aloe vera. If you live anywhere warm or, tro or, or desertous where aloe vera grows, the gels inside this, we could cut this open and use that gel. Chia seeds, a great gel. Today I'm going to work with one called Irish moss. Irish moss is a seaweed. This comes out of, obviously, there's a lot of history in Ireland with this seaweed. Um, amazing food, and they used it in times of famine there. Well, if we put this in water and soaked it, about a day, it would blow back up like it was fresh, like it was in the ocean. We could pour that off, rinse it a few times to get the salts off of it, and then blend it. Now, if we blend Irish moss with water, we end up with a gel like this. That's just crazy. Let me see the top of that. That's just crazy. So How, what it turns, it's almost like a gelatin that came from a plant. Now look at that. How it's much water do you put in? What I would do is put my Irish moss into a blender so that it kind of filled up the blender. The fronds of it filled up the blender and then I would cover that with water. Wow. And then so that the whole blender is full of water and Irish moss, pretty equal parts, and blend that. Now what would happen is it would blend and blend and blend and it would be chunky. And after a couple minutes, the friction in the blender reaches a certain temperature. And when that temperature is reached, the Irish moss comes apart into a gel. That gel we call carrageenan, and we'll see that. In, it's used as a, in processed foods often as a thickening agent. So carrageenan has been used in puddings and in pies and in all kinds of confections. Well, we can get natural carrageenan, and we can get it from our Irish moss. Now, this is how thick this is. Look at that. It's 
great for making raw pies. It's, it's great for making raw confections. Now this will last a very long time. In fact, in your refrigerator, this would last almost indefinitely. Probably last a year or two years. Because it's a seaweed and it's so high in minerals, it doesn't go bad. It makes it really convenient. The more of that we added, the thicker that drink would be. If you wanted this thick, like the milkshakes when you were a kid, would add more. If you want it thinner, it would add less. Now keep this in mind. If you are going to make a drink and you need that to feed you all day, you're going to want a little more fat or a little more sweetener, and you're going to want more thickener. If you're going to have lunch in a couple hours, you don't need too much food, then you'd want that thinner and with a little bit less fat. Elixir Craft is about learning how to feed yourself with drinks, with liquid nutrition, with uploadable liquid nutrition. So those are little common sense ideas. What we're going to do is throw this in the blender now, blend it right out. the modern witch's cauldron. <laughs> now it's all evenly blended, so all of that water, all of that tea, the nut milk, blended with the different superfoods, and sweetened up to taste is what we call an elixir. Now that flavor, I can already tell what it's going to be like, because I know those herbs. It's going to be smoky, and it's going to be slightly spicy. It's going to have that flavor of mesquite and maca and shilaji all mixed together with cacao. It'll be mildly stimulating, and it'll feed me for the rest of the day. You want to try that? Yeah, that'd be great. You got a taste for stevia in your life? Not a huge stevia, man. <laughs> Give me the honey. No, I'm just kidding. This is actually yeah. So you'll get like a... Wow. Whoa. My taste buds just went on a roller coaster ride. That's incredible. Yay. You taste the jasmine in there probably, eh? And you yeah. You taste some of the floral. I mean, I taste everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, in, I'm intimidated by like the teas and stuff like that. And I mean, I guess does your elixir crap kind of teach like how to do that in a simple way? Yeah. In fact, making tea is really simple, but most of us were raised with um, hot water from the tap and maybe tea bags. So in the Elixir Craft program, what we do is we go over, we have a whole hour program dedicated just to making tea, where we go through very simply what tea really is, how simple it is to make. Making tea is literally taking some water and putting an herb in it. There's many ways to do it. We go over them all, we make it really simple, we break it down, and then we talk about different strategies that where you can pick out some herbs you want to start with and learn to make tea yourself. My first herb that I worked with was dandelion. Really simple, local herb. I bought some dandelion leaf dry from an herbal place and started making tea with it, and that's how I started. I was a little intimidated as well. Herbalism can be an intimidating thing to get into at first, but it's actually really simple. My quest with Elixir Craft was basically to make that feel um, accessible and user friendly for people. So we created that seven hour program, which is really kind of like an entire education. It's like an entire college course on how to prepare liquid drinks. Um, and we start simple and we also give information pe for people who are more advanced as well. So kind of wherever you're at, you'll definitely get something out of that teaching. Nice. So yeah, this is it. This is like the next level of getting the optimal medicinal herbs and nutrients and superfoods into your bodies. And Elixir Craft seems like an awesome way to do it. And I think it will teach you an easy way and awesome way to make it all happen. Hang on, I want an Elixir mustache. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely easy, definitely fun. And it gives you, it arms you with the tool you need. See, here's the thing. Elixir, like I said, is a... <clears throat> is a liquid formatted medicinal beverage that's been sweetened to your taste. There's a second um, definition. So if you look up elixir, you're going to see that about it being a medicinal drink that's sweetened, but you'll also find another meaning. That's the meaning of the elixir of life or the magical substance that you ingest that gives you longevity or immortality. So the quest is how do we feed ourselves now? And how do we get so good at it that we figure out how to make that elixir of life for ourselves, that special substance that gives us longevity? That's really the quest. So elixir craft is really the art of making the drink that gives you longevity. Nice. All right, thank you. Thank you. We've got... Daniel Vitalis. And Matt Monarch.
and we'll see you again tomorrow on the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.